This is Bear Williams. I'm a bass instructor here at LessonFace.com and today I'm going to show you how to play a 1-4-5 blues progression in the key of G. So let's get started. Alright guys and gals, so what we've got going again is a 1-4-5 blues progression in the key of G. So if you're a bass player, coming on somebody's gig, being hired, or coming on a, a jam session, and somebody hollers out, hey, let's play a blues in G. Generally, generally, 99.9% .9 of the time, they're going to they mean a 1-4-5 progression. And very popular progression, not only in blues, but also in pop and rock music. You've heard it a thousand times, but you might not have noticed it. But anyway, right now, here it is. We got, first of all, we establish our key center. We're in the key of G, okay? And we want to know what those other notes are in that key. So we got our G scale, okay? So now that we've got our G scale established, we also need to know which of those notes in the scale are the one, the four, and the five. So again, we've got the G, which is our one. We need that one. The two, we're not necessarily going to use that one. The three, we are going to use, and I'll show you how we're going to use it. Four, definitely we're going to use it. Five, yes, we're going to use that. Six is probably going to come into play too, and I'll show you what that is. The seven, maybe, maybe not, anyway. And we've got the eight, which is the octave, so. Okay, now, we're playing the one, four, five in G, so it's a shuffle, Chicago kind of a shuffle. So what that refers to is the way the drums and the bass feel throughout the song. So it's kind of a shoo, 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 so, 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 that's the feel, okay? So we've got, we got the one. Okay. Going to the four. Back to the one. Doing the five. Four. One. Five. The one. Why we go back to the five before we hit the one? Because music is all about tension and release. Tension and release. So what that five, what that five does is give us a little bit more tension before we go back to the tonic note, okay? So again, here we go. talked about earlier you, you got to know your you got to know your tone center you got to know the scale also you've got to know the chords that are derived from that scale or that, that come from that scale that are inside that scale so you've got we got to deal with the G major chord G B D we also got the four chord C, E, G, we've got the five chord, which is the D, F sharp, and A, and then, of course, 
back to our tone center, the G and the B and the D. So we need to know all of those. You really need to know every single one of them um, that are there. Of course, that's not all of them, but you need to know that. You need to know each one, okay? Um, so getting back to this, the reason I have the arpeggios is to make the bass line expand it some, to outline it. So I could just sit here and play this all night. I could do that, but that's it's pretty boring. You know, I mean, it gets the job done, but it's that's not really that's not really what we want to do. We want to add flavor to the music. As a bass player, we want to add flavor. We want to add color. We want to outline the chords that either the guitar player or the keyboard player are playing okay so with that we want to we want to augment what we're doing with arpeggios okay all right so we're going to go with the shuffle again sweet home chicago one two three four come on baby don't you want to go Come on, baby, don't you want to go, yeah, to that same old place, sweet home, Chicago. Okay, so you see that? So it's, come on, that's the first arpeggio. Baby, don't you want to go? Okay. So I hit that one, three, five, and I hit that six in there too. You know, and that's kind of a, a good way to remember that is Mama's little baby love shortening, shortening. I know it's corny, but it works. Anything that works to help you remember where you're going on the bass is a win-win for me. So anyway, got that. The C, E, G, the G, B, D, okay, and then D, F sharp, A, back to the C, E, G, and then this, okay? So that's just one way of building a, a firm foundation for a blues in one four five in the key of g great thing about the bass it's a symmetrical instrument anywhere on the neck you play these progressions you're going to come up with a great blues you can play it in the key of uh, b Anyway, we're going back to one, going back to the G. So just wanted to show you, wherever you put that shape, wherever you put this shape, it's going to yield you a major triad, okay? So I hope this helps. I hope it makes sense. Please reach out to me via LessonFace.com. And uh, let me know what you think. Um, I'm available for group lessons as well as private instruction. So uh, keep on playing. Keep having fun. Love you guys. Thank you for watching. And I hope this helps you. That's my main purpose for this. Okay? God bless you guys. You take care. Bye-bye.